Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought I would just uh, do a very quick review on a bag I have had for more years than I care to remember. Um, this was a very, very old eBay purchase and this was back in the noughties when monogram and logos and everything was uh, so popular uh, in uh, the celebrity world. Uh, not just Louis Vuitton and their monogram, but Fendi and uh, Gucci and Dior. And now it's making a comeback, uh, the monogram style. And I just remembered I've got this bag. I should show it. Uh, again, it's a replica. It's not real. But um, yeah, I have been torn whether to part with this or keep it. And I am going to keep it. Um, but I'm limited to when I can use it. Um, have, have to be careful with it. It's fabric, it's pink, it's white. And I think you guys might know what I'm talking about. And it is the Dior monogram in the girly style that was popular in the early noughties. Um, likes of Paris Hilton and uh, Kim Kardashian and all that made it very popular. Uh, but this style of bag has really come back in style. And if you guys are seeing the trend that's happening now with Dior, the saddle bag is officially back. Uh, the saddle bag, um, I'm one of the biggest fans of Sex in the City. It was a lust over Carrie's saddle bags. Um, I then got one, uh, a replica. Um, I love it, uh, but it's very small, um, and you have to really pick and choose when you're going to use it. So I'll show it to you now. Um, it's funny that the saddle bag is back. I'll tell you why. I always like over the years will go on eBay and just check, uh, designer handbags just to see prices and things like that. I would say about maybe five, six, seven years ago. Um, you could get a saddle bag on eBay, like a real Dior, for around fifty pounds, pushing it maybe a hundred. Now I'm going on eBay, putting in the exact same search terms I did way back then, and they're starting at like two hundred because the saddle bags are back. They are now in trend again. So um, I really wish I'd picked up a few more uh all those years ago. But I do have this one. It may not be the real McCoy, but I do love it. So, uh, yeah, replica style uh, dust bag there. Um, very thin. Dead giveaway right there. But this bag, honestly, I bought this new. And I've not seen anything like this on eBay since. I don't even know if Dior did the saddle bag. Oh, well, they did do it in a in a kind of flower combo in, in the pink colors, but I don't know if they did this one. So this is the bag. I think it's called the Trotter. The pink, uh, the pink Trotter style, but don't quote me on it. I have absolutely no idea. Um, and that's the front of the bag. And this is the back of the bag. And before I get into the insides and the details, uh, this is very small. It should be slightly bigger uh, from what I have researched. Uh, this back, you nearly, it should give way to a pocket here. It doesn't. It's sewn down, unfortunately. And again, that's what makes it even more compact. So it's even harder to use. Um, all the details I have to say are really good because I do have a, a, a replica um, messenger bag in this style and it is this one definitely is better quality. Uh, you've got the crystals around the number one here. You've got the Dior spelled out in crystals at the bottom. Uh, we have the metal D there with the CD on both sides. Oh, actually, pardon me, it's on one side. Um, and then the little flowers here. Now these are much better than the quality of the flowers that is on my messenger bag. Uh, that is, um, they are really bad quality. I showed you the bubbling that they had before. Uh, so I just have to fix them a bit when they, 
as this bit always seems to seems to fall back but uh oh i can't even tell you how old this is i was in my teens guys and i'm 34 now uh i know a woman should never tell her age but that i just want to show or give you guys an idea of how old this bag actually is so it does have the cds now from what i have researched on this bag the hardware does say Kristen Dior, but on the real saddlebags, this Kristen Dior where it's spelled out is actually meant to be on the back. And then this side should be like a nice little kind of curved little metal bit on the front and then the Kristen Dior's on the back. But as you can see, there's screws on the back and then the Kristen Dior's on the front. But I had no idea when I bought this. I was... Just so excited to see a bag that looked like Carrie's bag in the Sex and the City. So, and I don't even think I spent very much on this, to be honest. Maybe about 40, 50 pounds. And then there's the wee CDs there. The strap is good, I have to say. Not much wear and tear, probably because I have not, uh, not taken it out in a while, I have to admit. So nice, like, sure it's not leather, <laughs> I am, but it's held up well, it's still white and like a shiny, it's definitely plastic, you can feel, I'm not going to lie to you guys. So um, from what I hear, I think it is Velcro, how it's um, attached, so there we go. Uh, no marks or anything on the fabric. Uh, oh my god, look what I just found. This, god, I remember buying this. Oh, it's a shop that doesn't even exist anymore in the mall near me. And I bought it to fit this bag. Oh, wow, that is old. That is so old. There's all set. Is there anything in the zip? No. Oh, memories. Yeah, I remember buying this because I was looking for something small that would fit into this. <laughs> That's so funny to find something. Oh, it's still really cute. I don't think this is this probably about five pounds. Yeah, it was to fit in this because, as you will see, it's very limited to what you can actually fit. So, yeah, this is the inside of the bag. I've looked up ones on YouTube and there is a bit more space in the real ones than this one. So it does have the uh, Christian Dior, oh pardon me, stamping. Oh, come on, work with me here. Okay. A bit scuffed up, it is very old, so it says Christian Dior Paris. There's no serial number or anything on the back. It is a replica after all. And uh, it has a zip. I don't know if this is in the real ones or not, but that's kind of cool. It actually have, has the CD on the zip. And, yep. Oh my God, I mean, I've kept this clean. So there's a wee, yep, it's all... Yeah, nice and bright pink there. Um, but as you can see, it is tiny. I mean, look at the old, this shows how old it is. Do you remember when mobiles used, or mobile phones or cell phones used to be like, the smaller the better, and now it's like the bigger the better? No way could you fit a cell phone in here anymore, but that just shows how old it is, because back then it was kind of like the smaller style phones. I don't even think smart, the smartphones definitely have not come out then. Um... But as you can see, right, so it definitely just, there's n there's no kind of, like, give or anything at the bottom. That's basically it. So from the outside, that's just showing you the space you've got to work with. So let me give you a visual here. So if that's your purse or your wallet, you know what I mean? And that's at the, that's at the most, um, that's the most gracious uh, depth that it gives. So... I mean, my phone would probably fit this entire, if not the whole thing. Uh, so you're very 
limited to what you can actually fit in there. Oh, I wish I had my six. Oh, hang on. I'm just going to get my six ring key holder and see if that fits. So here we go. So that's it there. Actually, mm, you just have to go super compact if you want to use this. So yeah, a beautiful bag, but you're very limited to how you can use it. But it, like, like I said, I don't even know if they did this style. But um, yeah, it will always stay with me because I know that now this style is definitely back. Back on fleek, as they say, the young people say. Just trying to fix the flowers. I always, I spend so long trying to fix these flowers so they sit nice, like the real thing. You guys know I have the real Boston bag, which never gets used either. I don't know why. I have three of these type of bags, this girly trotter style. And it's just because any stain gets on this, you're screwed. You know, you can't get it. Well, you could get it off, but it'd be very hard. Pink and white's like the worst combination. Could you imagine if like ketchup fell? In? Oh, let's not even make a joke about it. But yeah, my one and only saddle bag. It is a replica, but oh, it's so special to me that this will. This just remind. This will stay with me. This just reminds me of Carrie and Sex and the City. I think she makes she meets Aiden for the first time when she's wearing hers. So yeah, not bad for a replica. I have to say, just wish I had a bit more space. But it is a compact handbag anyway. But I know the the real ones do have a bit more give than this. They're a bit longer, definitely a bit wider. Gives a bit more give. I like the fact it has a pocket in the back on the real ones. But um, yeah very oldie by purchase uh, an oldie but a goodie um i will definitely have to use this more uh yeah glad i found that so yes that's a very old ebay find i uh, thought you uh, might enjoy seeing that uh doesn't get used a lot but it will definitely stay in my collection so uh okay guys thanks for watching and i will speak to you soon Bye.